Hi, I'm Christopher Windows, and hey, you can do this. Okay, maybe that's a little intense. Here's the deal, though. What I'm showing you is a thing called Orbit Kick. And that's what Orbit Kick is. So what I'm doing is taking stuff like the synthesizer and drums and without Orbit Kick that's maybe not as big as it might otherwise be. So what is Orbit Kick? Let's have a look. Orbit Kick is like a sine wave generator, only more so. It's doing the thing that you do, which is take a sound and trigger your sine wave thing. What's the original sound? That is the sound of a uh, drum trigger. It's a sort of piezo disc that is pressed direct, well, foam is pressed directly to the surface of a drum head. That's my kick drum, and it's a, the raw output of a kick drum trigger. Rather than running it into a drum brain, this is just to the recorder. It's a real spiky, bright sound here. And that's what is triggering this noise. Threshold is the limit to uh, how quiet you can be re-triggering. Low enough threshold and it's constantly being re-triggered by every little noise. So we can kind of make it a little blurry here. Now what do these other things do? Drop That has to do with how the pitch is dropping off. The pitch has to drop down to its lowest point to stop. The lowest point is finish, down here. And it doesn't have to go all the way down. If it goes all the way down, you can get an interesting effect where the off of the note is almost as clear as the onset of the note. And this is a very, very low pitch thing. The faster it drops, the uh, shorter the decay is, or if you have very little drop, well, it doesn't really shut off. Shape, however, makes it fall off in a more sort of exponential way rather than a linear way. Because linear linear is kind of like this. It's a steady state fall off shape. means it falls off much more quickly at the beginning and then there's more emphasis on the lows. So you get to modify the way the shape goes. Low shape means it's a very linear fall off. This is sort of your 
the usual modular synthesizer kick drum thing are often these ways, which are not very punchy at all. If you start including a shape, then the attack falls off much more quickly. And you can exaggerate it until you have just a zap. You can go very high frequency, and it's still hitting with a low frequency punch, which, if we take this, use only that, and then combine it with actual drums, Raw drums here, no reverb. You can have a more exaggerated form of the attack. Or if we lower start, we get a nice punchy kick drum attack. And remember, our uh, raw basic sound it's just this. It's coming straight off of a piezo trigger on the drum head. This could be sort of your, you know, you know what a Yamaha sub kick is? This is kind of that in a box, but without necessarily actually having drums. Because you can hear that we can do this, but what if you, for instance, Add another kind of drum. Or even it's a bunch of stuff that's electronic drums. This is off of my modular synthesizer. And if you're doing this sort of thing, Orbit kick, come back, there we go. This is the dry sound from orbit kick. But if we add orbit kick to this electronic drum, well, you can have a different electronic drum. Or you can combine it with the analog version of it. Or if we don't think this is low enough in frequency, like we're not getting a lot of weight and subs here, Orbit Kick lets you do this. That's pretty low. Or we can have it continuously going. We'll get into some Berlin techno. And with that, we are adding Orbit Kick to the existing modular kick. But hey, why stop there? If we could have or be kick added to that clap. Electronic kick is now going quicker, and we'll use this one on those. Uh, this is the noise we're taking it from. And 
and we're triggering it off at that clap. So let's do other things. We're kind of making a crunch out of it. So let's take the threshold and do something else with it. So we're using this sound to trigger this. And now we have this sort of Berlin techno thing going on. Lower it down. There's where our drop and shape come into play. Will become a little higher. And we're making a sort of low frequency rumble, which we can throw into the reverb. And I'm going to see whether I can mess it up a little bit by fooling with the threshold. back the other we'll make the other orbit kick a little bit uh, more formidable Cut the reverb off of that one. And throw on that synthesizer again. And there you go. And pretty much a lot of this stuff, if you have soft synthesizers and things, you know, surge or whatever. Like for instance, uh, that's just surge. Surge has some Air Windows plugins built into it. I'm just running the uh, program on it, but that's more open source stuff. And when I say you can have this, well, a bunch of this stuff that I'm doing, whether it's drums or whatever, are off of my studio. And I enjoy doing that, but there's a bunch of stuff you can just download. Back to the weirdness. So the whole deal with this is we can do a lot of stuff with Orbit Kick. Final finale, let's open all of these interfaces up. If I can, I probably can. Here we go. There's a little line. And 
from a bunch of noises as random as this. We can make a giant supple for mangling mess. being able to handle the windows very well in the interface. But let's not mind that. Well, there you have it. So, what I'm going to do now is quit this and throw this whole session away. Because that was not real music. That was just uh, noises to demonstrate the plugin with, but you can have Orbit Kick. And if you would like to reinforce bass on pretty much whatever, uh, hopefully it'll be useful to you. I'm still working on things like reverbs, and I'll do my level bust with it, but uh, for now, I hope you enjoy Orbit Kick. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.